couple of hours and I've already installed most of the pack that I showed you earlier but um, you can see the fullness that I have and I'm not even quite finished uh, but just one pack I've seen people use more than one pack and some people like to achieve that really full big hair look that is not for me so this is about as full as I want it and I still have a little ways to go if I break down the rest of the hair into the little tiny pieces um, I really won't need to break into the second pack but I still have one just in case it really depends on the size of your head really how many braids you have because you, if you somebody has 20 braids as opposed to seven uh, of course the person with 20 braids is going to use more hair just because they have more braids also um, it just depends on how thick you want your pieces and how full you want it. I'm using the Free Tress Go Go Curl. There are all types of hair. I have pictures on my page of the other types that I've used. I've used Tango Curl, Deep Twist, Water Wave, uh, Presto Curl, Finger Roll. There are so many different textures and um, just have fun with it. But do know that when you try the different types of hair, you're going to need slightly different techniques for each of them. Um, Go Go Curl is my favorite one to use, so it's the first one I decided to do a tutorial on, but I'll likely do tutorials on the other ones as well. Tango Curl is a different way of doing it. Um, you still install it the same way, um, but you break the pieces down differently. At least for me, that's been my experience. And also, you cut it differently. Um, also, here is the crochet hook that I'm using. It's the popular one that you see in all of the hair supply stores. It's probably about a dollar. I did start out using the regular uh, crochet hook that you would use for uh, yarn <laughs> or making a scarf or baby booties or something and that one is just a little heavier. It's thicker, it's rounder and it really was hard to get under um, the braid so this one is a lot easier to use. Okay I'll be back when I'm completely done with the install and ready to cut and style. Okay, so it's been several hours and now I'm completely finished with my installation. Um, you will notice here at the top that my part is a little bit on the side and um, it's just because of the way it was braided, but generally I would have my part straight down the middle. And the way you close the part is that you, um, you take your crochet hook and I have my mirror here to help me because I was getting confused with the camera and you put it under two braids you see that two braids and you add the hair and I've already done it actually but you add the hair and you pull pull it underneath and tie them together and if you you'll notice I did that back here I tied them together to close the part so it's a lot of hair for me, so I'm planning to cut quite a bit of it. Um, but I wanted to show you how I do that. First, after you get it completely installed, um, you get your mousse. And I don't use any particular one kind, so I'm not really making a big deal about which kind this is. Just make sure that it has some sort of a moisture agent to it. Some of them will really dry out the hair. This one has olive oil in it and some tea tree oil so and I really saturate the hair down 
again I have my mirror off to the side to help me um, because I'm getting confused with the camera now you'll notice once it's wet um, it really does kind of lean itself out. I don't know what the proper term is. It gets leaner and um, easier to deal with. I know that I'm not going to use this sort of frayed area. So I can cut that off right away. And now I'll put some on the other side. Again, this is just standard mousse with a moisturizing agent in it like olive oil. Should have taken off my earring. And generally, I mean, there would be nothing wrong with wearing it just like this. Um, but I'm 40. I'm a little older. My daughter likes to wear hers longer. And she's a teenager. So I just want to look like a mom. <laughs> A cute mom, but not an old mom. <laughs> but um, it's just too much hair for me, so I plan to cut it. Now, I like to start at the top and cut it at an angle. It really, again, depends on the type of shape you want. Do you like more fullness at the bottom or more fullness at the top? Wherever you want it the most full is where you should cut it. And again, I'm cutting it at an angle. I really don't like having the fullness at the bottom, not with this particular type of hair. With the Tango Curl, I prefer to have the fullness at the bottom. see how short that is I just cut it really short in the front again because I don't want it hanging in my face and I always cut at an angle always And again, the reason that it looks like I have a part on the side, which was not intentional, is because of the base and the way it was braided. I still have a lot more to cut and um, I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back with my finished look. Okay, this is pretty much my finished look, although it's not how I normally would do it. It was different this time for me doing part of it on cam. Um, the last time I used Go Go Curl, which has been my most recent pictorial, um, the curls were much bigger and that's because I used bigger pieces and I really didn't even use that many. 
Um, I spaced them out really far apart and it came out um, really full. This time I did them a lot smaller. I wanted the curls a lot tighter and um, I achieved that look. One thing I've noticed when um, you do a part, if you do want your part on the side, uh, just simply keep your hair parted down the middle like you normally would and instead of uh, doing your closure on the side, do it in the middle and then just simply take your hair and flip it. Wherever you want the part, just flip it. A couple of pieces in the front. Don't do a whole part going to the, the back. So as you can see, I just flipped a couple of pieces and um, really that was too many. <laughs> Just flip a couple of pieces in the front. And that's the best thing about uh, the crochet braids is that they're very versatile. And then I just put a bonnet on it at night and in the morning, fluff and go. I mean, it's easy and it keeps really well. Um, I might, might be putting my daughter on the spot, but I wanted to show you the back of her hair her hair is really long and so I just added hair to the ends of her cornrows so that she could pull it up if she'd like. Come here for a second. <laughs> if you really like it long like hers is, and I'm going to move the camera this way. Turn around. I just took my scarf off. Turn around to the back. Um, this is what I did with hers at the end. I add hair to the end of her. This is her actual cornrow. This is actual her actual hair. And with the hair added to it. Hers is deep twist, by the way. But you do that so that if she wants to pull it up, she could do so. And it's clean. So, anyway, I just wanted to show that. We do look alike. <laughs> anyway, um, I just wanted to show that it's it's versatile if you want to wear it long or short. And if you do uh, prefer to wear it long and you think you might want to put it up in a ponytail, make sure you add some hair to the ends. Or some people put individuals in the very back. That way they can um, pull it up whenever they want, especially when you have really hot summers like this one. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll add some pictures at the end. Um, I'll probably be wearing something different because it'll be tomorrow when I take those pictures and I'll put on some makeup and um, add some pictures to the end of the video. Thanks again for watching. Please um, rate, subscribe, comment.